enjoy answering your questions, and it turns out you enjoy answering our questions, too. I wanted to thank everyone who took the time out to answer our listener survey, and we wanted to share a few of the fun results we got. And they were fun. They were fun. I've I've loved reading the results. It's been great. It's been like a it's been we laughed, we cried. It was like a warm hug. It was great. You guys are really really funny and entertaining. Uh, so we asked um, some for those of you who didn't take the survey. We asked some serious questions. We asked you know what topics do you want to hear more about? And it turns out you guys want to hear more about behavioral finance and where psychology and money meet. That was the top answer. Forty five percent of people said they want to hear more about that. Uh, second up was retirement planning. More about the how to save IRAs, four hundred one k, Social Security. About 38% of you wanted that. And then the top third, um, top three answer was living life to the foolish fullest, which was basically our catch all for happiness, productivity, being healthy and wealthy. That was also about 34% of you. So were you surprised by this, bro? I was surprised because many of uh, Motley Fool readers and I'm assuming listeners too are stock investors. So I assumed. They wanted. They would want the hearing more about individual stocks would bubble up closer to the top. But it actually was, I believe, number five. I think number four was like foolish family finances, like people want to know more about saving for college and stuff like that. So, I was very surprised. All right, so we're gonna try and do our best to um, have some shows around the topics that you guys have told us you're interested in. But it doesn't mean we won't um, also have shows about loofahs every now and then. <laughs> Uh, we also learned that you guys are mostly millennials and Gen Xers, so the 25 to 50 age was our most popular demographic. Uh, and then also we had an open-ended question where we asked you to tell us why you're fascinating, because again, I really believe that everyone has something fascinating about them. For example, Brocamp, you do a really good Kermit the Frog impersonation. Theoretically, yes, I do. It turns out you guys have many fascinating jobs, including farming Atlantic salmon and like um, running and teaching nuclear reactor operations on submarines. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. You have fascinating hobbies. One of you claims that you can clap vigorously with one hand and that it doesn't sound as disturbing as it looks. Because it doesn't sound like anything. How can you make noise doing that? Oh. Well, I don't know. Some people, I think, can actually like kind of like flap their hands and make it work. Uh, one of you says that that's you... the sound of me trying it. By the way, everyone, you hear that clapping? Well, that's why that's why you're not fascinating for that's this true. reason. That's why you have other reasons you're fascinating. Another listener can name every mascot to every college in the country. They don't know why. It just happened. I don't know how you picked that up. But you All do. right, some college has the mascot of the banana slugs. Did you know that? I did. I did know that. Another one of you, apparently, <clears throat> this is this is a bit of a read, so bear with me. I label all of my underwear chronologically by purchase date with an alphanumeric code. I then stack them in reverse purchase order and use the result of predictive powers to create synthetic long positions in orange juice, platinum, bitcoins, bitcoins, and fan dual fantasy picks. I also never wash them because it upsets my algorithm. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, another person said they can climb a ladder with a bell in both hands. I don't. I don't know. Is that one bell, two hands on one bell. I can climb a ladder with a bell in both hands. I don't know what that means or why you would do it, but I don't know. That's that's cool. I think we need some video submissions of we this. We do need. Some. You know what? That is a great idea. That is a great idea. Uh, someone said that they like listening to my cheery voice because it lowers their blood pressure. How awesome is that? You need to do like a. A meditation app or something like that. Changing lives, Robert Brokamp. Changing Good lives. Good for you. Thanks. Uh, we, you guys also um, have really great aspirations, and um, I don't know, you're just cool people. So, for example, one of you wrote that you invest in the U.S. and your father is in India, and we compare notes almost every week. And this is our father-daughter thing, which we connected after my mother passed away. Oh, that hmm. was so cool. That was sweet. Um, Many of you are also trying to catch up on retirement and save money and just live great, good lives. So the survey is closed. Um, I want to thank you guys all for answering it because honestly, like we read, we read through every single answer that everyone wrote and they were all really fun and good. Although I can't believe some of you think you're not fascinating. You are. I'm telling you, you are. 